Just want to talk about our two antenna options. Our two main antenna options is a Trimble Nav 500 and a Trimble Nav 900. Um, previously, we would have had the AG25, AG15s. Uh, we have patch antennas on the Easy Guy 250s, so things like that. But these are the two main antennas we're using now. Um, I suppose the main difference between the two is the different correction options and the accuracies that you can um, get with each antenna. With a Nav 500, we, we generally use SBAS. If someone is running on autonomous, you're using submeter, it's going to drift, it's not going to be as good. Using SBAS, you're locking yourself down to a satellite and you'll run at 8 inches. We can also use viewpoint that will bring you down to 6 inches. Um, one thing to look at whenever you're picking correction options is the convergence times. So SBAS is a f 4 minutes conversion time, viewpoint is 3 minutes. That's just how long it takes for it to find the satellite and get you full signal. Um, so that's the NAV 500 option. Generally we sell this with our GFX 350, also with our 750 and 1060, but it's more of a manual guidance option. Um, when, you're, when you're going manual guidance, you don't need the highest accuracies, but if you're using implement control through that manual guidance, then it's more important because your latencies for shutting on and off your sprayer or shutting on and off your spreader, they're all uh, dictated by how accurate your antenna is. So the bit higher accuracy you have, the better, the more accurate you'll be with your spreader and your sprayer shutting off. So that's what that's when it becomes more important to have higher accuracy. So if you're on the market for a GPS, no matter what make, model or brand you're looking at, it is important to look at accuracies, convergence times, um, you know, the drift, because at the end of the day, when we're running free to air, we're running off a satellite in the sky that's moving all the time. So that means your your line is shifting and it's it's, to, it's all time based. Most systems out there will just be sub-meter accuracy free to air. With on our SBAS, there's no cost for that for the 8 inch, there is a small cost on the 6 inch. Um, but again, 8 inch accuracy for manual guidance is more than enough. If you're looking at implement control, it's still good enough. But if you're looking at more precision, you need to be looking at the NAV 900 antenna, which will go through. So our NAV 900 is our other antenna option. Uh, we mainly aim, aim this when people are auto steer or heading towards auto steer. Um, the main difference on, in the NAV 900 over the NAV 500 is everything is built in in the one unit. With a NAV 500, if you want to auto steer with a NAV 500, we have to fit what's called a, an IMU. It's a little box that bolts on the front axle, um, which has your gyroscopes for slopes and things like that, um, whereas it's all built into the NAV 900. Um, we have different correction options available for the NAV 900 to bring your precision right down. So range point is quite popular, um, people sewing grain, things like that, looking for a bit more accuracy. We can run 3 inch accuracy on range point subscription. Um, it's 3 inch accuracy with repeatability of up to 6 inches. So the repeatability is when you leave the field after 1 hour, 1 day, 1 week, the, the, the line could shift up to 6 inches. Um, it is time based, so it's if you're in the field all day long, you'll never see a difference. It's it's time based. When you leave the field, it can um, it can it can shift up to six inches. There's no point saying otherwise. Um, I suppose you, it's a bit of you get what you pay for, but you have to know that when you're buying it, and um, it's no matter what system brand you're looking at, you need to know all the ins and outs of what subscription you are buying, um, and, and find something that suits your job best. So conversion time for range point is three minutes. So when you turn on the system, it'll take three minutes to have full signal. Repeatability six inches, but your accuracy is down to three inches. So um, we would see that quite, it's very good for sewing grain, things like that. Uh, three inches holds quite well, and it's a, it's, a, it's a very good value subscription. Just uh, on corrections, then center point is, is very popular. Then uh, center point will bring us down to one inch accuracy. So we have two options for center point. We've got center point standard and center point fast. Center point standard and faster, both one inch accuracy. The repeatability is again one inch. So um, again, going away, it's time based for one hour, one day, um, one week coming back to that field. Your line will still only have ever shifted one inch, if, if anything at all. Um, it, it's, it's, it's very good that way. Uh, convergence time for standard is 10 minutes and fast is three minutes. So if you center point standard, and you turn on your system, it could take up to 10 minutes to have full signal and be ready to go. With center point fast, you can have that within three minutes. So that's the main difference between the two. Um, again, we, we have sold it out of the box um, with a new NAV 900 antenna for the first 12 months, and after 12 months, you then need to choose your subscription. 
Um, the other option we have is VRS or RTK. So this is fitting a modem using a SIM card. It's one inch accuracy, but your convergence time is instant. So as soon as you turn that system on, you have got full um, RTK, one inch accuracy. So, um, uh, and, and again, full repeatability at one inch, everything like that. So that is the most accurate. Working back then, you go back center point fast, center point standard, and then range point at three inches. Uh, and you go back free to air to S bus, which is, which is up to eight inch accuracy. So um, there are other correction options. Um, we can provide correction options for, for, for most manufacturers and most other antennas. So um, just get in touch if you have, if, if you need a subscription or you need, um, you, you want to buy a, a, a plan from us and we can, um, we can provide that, uh, not just for Trimble, but for other makes, Case, New Holland, Fint, you know, Valtra, all the rest. Just, just get in touch if you would like a subscription and we can give you a quote and, uh, uh, and we can look after your subscriptions for you.